Okay, so more solo backyard training. If you have uh, the ability to set up uh, some sort of uh, uh, cut focus or pelt in your backyard or basement, whatever, it's a really useful tool. It's seriously underrated in the HEMA community, in my opinion. Um, uh, but I strongly recommend that anyone who's uh, do, practicing or studying the sword that they set up some sort of uh, cut focus or pelt in order to work their basic cuts. This also allows you to develop the degree of control and precision that you need to be able to fight safely with these tools and not hurt your friend. Because uh, your ability to control the force on target is really important. Uh, and uh, this instrument is probably the best thing that can be used to develop that. So a very, very basic um, first pill, pill exercise is working to find the, the appropriate measure. And this is an important skill as well as a swordsman, swords person. To, to be able to develop that understanding of how far you need to be away from somebody to be safe and developing that maximum extension reach. So when we look at the, the Pell as a focus, we're not going to be beating this thing up, we're not going to be hitting it hard, we're going to be just coming to contact with it uh, so that I can develop uh, the appropriate engagement on the center of percussion of the weapon and uh, perfect distance. So when we started in post Ladonna, for example, to deliver our basic strike, we're keeping attention to our grip that we spoke about earlier, and we're looking at developing that strike and moving through all of our postas to recover that energy in the most efficient way. And you can see, if you know your postas, you can see me moving through all of those uh, postas on the right side to come to this engagement. Now we could do a Matsani blow just as easily and recover, and you can see I don't have to hit it hard. I can work as slow as I want to get the precision that I'm looking for. And each one of these engagements, I'm paying attention to my footwork, making sure that I'm making a nice step, moving toe to toe, and transitioning the energy fluidly. Our first work is just building that measure, that distance, and getting it precise. We don't have to go fast, we don't have to go hard. We can go fast, but we never want to go hard. In a future video, I'll look at how these sorts of things can develop and you can make some good blow combination skill, uh, uh, drills using the pellets of focus.